Alrighty, YouTube, what's going on tonight? Um, John Reina is back here with a little mail day and to uh, just share a little uh, piece of memorabilia that is one of my top faves in my collection. Good story behind it. So I just wanted to uh, uh, update you on a few things. So um had a nice little five card mail day today. Uh, I'm always excited to get some mail in. So let's just get right to it. And I'll uh, show you what I got in. First up on the list is a 1966 Topps Don Sutton rookie card. I uh, got that in the uh, X4. Um, really nice card. Nice clean back. Corners are overall pretty good. Really nice piece. Glad to have that in the collection. So again, 66 Topps Don Sutton rookie. Next up here is a 1963 Gaylord Perry rookie card. Got that in a six. Back looks pretty good as well. <clears throat> Overall, nice looking card. Corners are really nice on this one. Um, I mean, you don't really have to break the bank for a uh, Gaylord Perry rookie card. So I was able to get a little bit of a higher grade at a reasonable cost. Um, coming up with some big guns here, we have a 48 Bowman Eno Slaughter, considered his rookie card. Got this in the next five. It's a really good looking card. I mean, the centering's off, clearly, but um, it's still really nice. Get that in a little closer for you. The back is super clean. The coloring is actually really good, too. It's nice and bold. Um, let's see if I can get in there for you. <clears throat> get in here closer. Uh, Really nice to have that <clears throat> added to the collection. And up here, a 1939 Playball Hank Greenberg. Um, I didn't own any Hank Greenberg uh, cards at all, so I wanted to pick up something uh, for the collection. And I'm a fan of the 39 Playball series. I have a few other cards from that series. And uh, I was able to get this in the next five um, so, uh, surprisingly uh, at a lower cost than I thought it would be. Uh, and the back here is really nice. It's really bold. The coloring is gorgeous on here. Um, the lettering is really dark. Uh, so it was really nice to have this. So nice uh, Hammer and Hank Greenberg right here. Last but not least, <clears throat> uh, my favorite, as you all know, I'm still on a mantle kick. And wanted to add this one into the PC, so we went ahead with the 54 Bowman, the VG3 Mickey Mantle. Really nice card. Um, you know, there's some slight centering issues left to right here, but overall, it's a it's a really good looking card. I'll tell you, the back is really nice too. Um, there's really no flaws on this, other than some minor rounded corners and centering. It's 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 a really gorgeous card. So. Really glad to bring that into the collection. Um, I will have something else, Mantle, coming in probably next week. Um, and as I get closer to completing my Mantle set, which I guess if I'm collecting something right now, I guess that would be it. I'm trying to go for all the Mantles. So realistically, there's going to be two Mantles I'll have left after this. And I don't know, probably going to be a while. Maybe when I get a big bonus from work or again, when I hit the lottery, I'll pick those others up. <laughs> um, so last but not least, I just want to share one of my favorite pieces of memorabilia. Um, my father and I were <clears throat> Red Sox season's ticket holders. And part of that, we were members of the Bo Sox Club, which at the time was, I guess, sort of a somewhat exclusive club for Red Sox fans. And they would have dinners at Anthony's Pier 4 up here in Boston. It's no longer around, but uh, it was definitely a, the, sort of the place to go. And they would have dinners and they would have guest speakers. And um, growing up, my dad worked for the post office. And two of his regular customers were J John Harrington, who was the owner of the Red Sox, and a gentleman named Bill Brooks, who was the um, the head director of the Bo Sox Club. So they got to know my dad and knew me, and um, that's how we got involved in the Bo Sox Club. So 
Um, and also actually one of the main reasons how we got our season tickets at the, uh, at that time. So, um, we'd go to a lot of the dinners and at one point I was invited to Johnny Pesky's 80th birthday party. And, um, being a kid, Mr. Brooks, who would always sit up at the front table, would give up his seats for me and my father. So I'd always get to sit right up front and they would always have a panel of speakers. So they'd have this panel of speakers and we'd be kind of sitting over there and, you know, just chit chatting with people at the table before the speakers were, were there. Um, and at that particular dinner, um, it was Johnny Pesky and special guest, uh, Dom DiMaggio. So as everyone's sort of eating dinner, there's a guy next to me and I'm talking to him. I think I was, I don't know, I want to say maybe 14 or 15 at the time, I think. Um, I could have been younger, to be honest with you. I can't remember. And I was talking to this gentleman next to me about... Uh, the old Red Sox in the early 1900s. And I'm talking about Tris Speaker and Harry Hooper and Duffy's, Duffy Lewis and out there in Duffy's Cliff. And, you know, just talking to him about the old Red Sox. And he's like, wow, you know, you really know a lot. And I said, yeah, you know, I, I, I try. And he goes, well, do you know who uh, Joe Wood was, Smokey Joe Wood? And I said, of course. Um, I'm very familiar with Smokey Joe Wood. Often overlooked, um, I think, personally, uh, should have made the Hall of Fame, but I can see how his numbers couldn't quite match up to, you know, the guys of his day, of Christy Mathewson's and things of that nature. So um, that was a tough call. But at any rate, he told me, he's like, yeah, well, you know, I'm Smokey's son. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is this is cool. And he's like, so I really enjoyed, you know, and towards the end of the dinner, he's like, I really enjoyed your conversation. And he says, you know, why don't you give me your address? So I was like, hey, you know, talking to my dad, I was like, where can I send this? And so we gave him um, my dad's address, and sure enough, about four weeks later, we get a little package in the mail. And it was uh, actually surprising because we didn't think we'd ever hear from him. And sure enough, we get this little care package in the mail, and uh, he has a letter in there saying, John, um, in remembrance of our conversation um, at Johnny Pesky's 80th birthday party, uh, please enjoy the enclosed. And... As I sort of, I'm going to tilt over here just a little bit. And as you can see, he sent this photograph of his father and he inscribed it to John, you know, remembrance of our meeting at the Bosox luncheon in Boston, September 1st, 1999, with sincere best wishes, the Wood family. He, uh, at 9 15, 1999 is when he sent it, um, or, when we, or at least when he inscribed it. And then he sent out two pretty cool pieces of memorabilia that I just, it's incredible. He first sent out um, a canceled check with Joe Wood's signature on it, and which I thought was really awesome. So that's the first piece that he sent out to us. And then the next piece he sent out this, which is, even I think, pretty cool. And it's not just a photograph. It's actual uh, Hall of Fame voting ballot um, that was used... Um, during the time when they when he was up for uh, excuse me when Smokey was up for Hall of Fame induction and it has all the statistics and uh, I believe this was actually um, a copy or one of um, Joe Wood's associates or, or someone it could have been his I don't know whose it was but there's some uh, information in here that was written about him and uh, this was one of the ballots used um, that you would send in. So he sent this to me as well, which I thought was really cool. Um, I've never really seen an actual Hall of Fame ballot, what it looks like. And, you know, this is this is a rather older one. Um, I can't remember exactly um, when he was up for inauguration. Uh, but having this was really cool. So... Um, that is sort of my little story. So it was really nice to get those um, in the mail from him uh, so many years ago. And it was kind of a cool little uh, fun day at Johnny Pesky's 80th birthday party. I have some other stories like that. So if anyone's actually even interested, I can share those with you at a later time. But I just wanted to share those things with you. Um, wanted to share my new mail day with you guys. I'll have some stuff coming up at the end of this week and next week. So look forward to sharing that all with you. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for commenting and for all my subscribers. Uh, I never thought I'd even have 10, let alone 65. So um, I'm thinking about once I get to 100 um, to try to do some sort of a giveaway. 
so the closer I get to 100, the closer I'll get to uh, trying to do some sort of contest or giveaway for you guys. Uh, I know that seems to be pretty popular, so I'll do what I can to send something out to you guys. So um, again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the content. Hope you enjoy these videos. I try to you know, put out nothing but the best as far as cards is concerned. So you guys have something to look at and enjoy. Um, so I appreciate all your support and thanks again for watching. I'll talk to everybody soon.